Well, as you can see on screen here, today's video was meant to be 10 hours of the PvP arena, but it turned out to be impossible to make due to the bot problem and just the general lack of interest surrounding this minigame. So after that failed attempt, uh, this led me to Last Man Standing, which I've already covered in a few videos, but one thing that I haven't purchased from the Last Man Standing shop is none other than the Vesta's Longsword. This costs 300 points, and now that I've obtained it, be on the look out for a future video using this insanely powerful special attack weapon. And speaking of powerful special attack weapons, today's video is all about Dragon Claws. Because today I bring you guys Dragon Claw rushing for 10 hours, smiting and surprising. That's right ladies and gentlemen, these players are going to have no clue that I am waiting for them as they teleport or enter the cave. I'm going to be ready for them with max strength and a dragon dragon claw spec to say hello following that up with another dragon claw spec to say goodbye and if all else fails we have the elder maul for backup with this current setup i am risking close to 200 mil if i am somehow killed but let's hope that doesn't happen. Firstly, I wanted to try out the entrance to the Revenant Cave, a very popular teleport amongst a lot of players, including a few gold farmers and rev bots that just simply teleport directly up here to access the rev cave. Unfortunately, only got about 250k from that last guy, and this next guy I wanted to try in a total level world. He was kind of busy uh, complimenting my Iron Man, so I figured I would log in on top of him and spec him when he's least expecting it. Unfortunately, the special attacks failed, but the Elder Maul finished the job. It was a little little too late though he had plenty of time to get that prayer on and it was definitely mean of me you know I, I might have uh, lost the subscriber there lose the subscriber but gain 211 kgp I don't honestly think that was worth it how about those chinchampa hunters in the 2200 worlds the ones with the bulwark the ones that name themselves rocky after the raccoon pet or the fictional boxer either way the Missouri the bulwark the nezzy it wasn't strong enough for that dragon claw spec and not only was it a great spec it was a great loot to 600k. Now this isn't a 100% guaranteed kill every time. Sometimes the dragon claw spec just does not hit high enough, but as you can see, we really got this guy off guard. He was just running around in circles. Finally, he did manage to teleport out the mall. Could not finish the job there, so it is important to keep that in mind. Not always will you get the kill, but I will say most of the time you should. One thing I love about this method is that the vengeance that you cast prior to using your special attack really makes it so your character has a strong strong delay and even a stronger run towards the victim, making you almost appear out of nowhere and the damage is just incredible when it stacks up just so quickly with the 400 to 500 XP drops that you can see with this setup. Taking down yet again another Chin Hunter, I tried my best not to prioritize the Chin Champas this video, I've already killed uh, quite a few of the Chin Champa Hunters and bots in past videos, but what can I say, you never know who you're going to run into here, so I wanted to make the rounds every hour or or so, or uh, maybe two hours, I would check and just hop through all of the 2200s and all of the 2k worlds. After I would clear it up, I would just return every hour or two hours and just try to see if there was anyone new here stockpiling their chinchampas so that I could get some good loot. Otherwise, I don't really want to be killing these guys for, you know, a set of dehyde to less than 50 chins. That's just wasting their time and my time. So I tried to make sure that I only went for people that I knew would be here for a while and with the help of using scout accounts for this video, I was able to make sure that some people were here for longer than just 20 minutes or 30 minutes, receiving multiple loots of over 100 chins at a time. So, you know, not too bad. Our first hour was mainly spent at the Chinchampas with a little bit at the Rev Cave, and we made 3.9 mil. So we're off to a good start. 11 kills in. Let's go try out another location, the Edgeville Lever. As you can see, I was a little late to clicking on this guy, but he didn't seem to care. He only lost 50k. Now we're going to try out a very popular spot for this method, 18 Wilderness, with using Scout accounts at the Furox to see who is running in at what time. This guy was scouted by using three different accounts in three different worlds. I did manage to get the kill before he got the teleport in, and unfortunately, no web weaver bow, but 600k. Essentially, what my scouts do is they see anyone above the combat level of 108, and once I see someone above that combat level running towards this cave, I log in on my main, and as you can see there, I get a 1.8 mil PK. I make sure to have an account in total level worlds, and then two other accounts 
usually in worlds 302 to 310 and then 350 to 360. I see those as pretty good choices just to see a random person running towards this cave entrance. And on average, I was running into about five to six people every hour. Now, most of the time you want to kill them with that special attack because if not, they do have a really good chance of teleporting out on you. But sometimes they're just, you know, oblivious and AFK and 500k just like that thanks to the Elder Maul. The opportunities really are endless with this method. As you can see here, you never know what someone's gonna have. So this guy looks like he's like more of a PKer than a PVMer and we instantly surprised him with that claw spec. Little did I know he pulled out an Armadil God Sword, but did he have enough time to put his protect item prayer on? Absolutely not. He didn't. 11.4 mil in our second hour. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been doing this method on again and off again for the last year and I've never been uh, able to make it into a video, so that was huge for me. I finally got a plus one. And these claws work pretty well on my 20 defense build as well, but uh, yet to make a video on this account. Just wanted to kind of keep you guys in the loop about him. He's still here. We got a nice 261 k -er, but other than that, not too much from Swerve lately. And as I mentioned before, this does not have a 100% success rate, but man, I wish it did. That would have been a nice kill. The 60 with the Elder Maul had no problem hitting, but the claws certainly did. He wasn't scold, so I wouldn't have gotten too much, but yeah, it would have been a nice PK nevertheless. Some people enter this cave like this guy, and they're just so interested in getting the Revenant Imps to get killed before they start their trip, and yeah, unfortunately, he was way out of it, but I just couldn't hit there. One teleport a lot of people don't think about is that you can teleport to Black Chins with your Max Cape, and you can appear in the center of the Chinchampas rather than having to run in from the west. So a kill like that's a little more unique than most, and that brings us in to hour seven. We're three hours into the video now. I'm gonna go ahead and spend one hour in the 2200 worlds at the Fountain of Rune. Um, I actually did end up spending a total of 52 minutes here, and I only ran into one person, and I was actually covering three other worlds on three other accounts. So yeah, just one guy, and but he got his glories. He didn't seem to be too upset about that either. Where's my eternal? Well, almost another hour gone. We have six hours remaining. One plus one has been achieved so far. Can we get two though? That is the real question. A lot of people love doing the claws to Void Waker with this method, but me, I just love double claws. Too many people pray in magic these days, and it did actually work out for me pretty well here. 711k. I do love killing people who are scold, but you never can discount the unscold as well, because some of them bring Missouri and an archering. You never know what you're going to get. That guy, 541k. Haven't ran into too many PKers, but the lower level ones with the black dehyde, much easier to kill than the max ones. I will say that. The Elder Maul coming to a finish there with a 34. The rune gloves tell me it's not going to be much of a loot, but a strange loot at that. 420k. I don't know why they had rune kite shields and coins in their inventory, but following that rune kite shield PK, we yeah, we found another guy with a rune kite shield. This time, he unfortunately was divine sipping, and ooh, the damage stacked up against him. 1.4 mil. He had 500 normal diamond bolts. And my first Avarice amulet PK of the video. You know, I will say, killing revs is already stressful enough. Imagine having to deal with guys like me that are just in max strength, ready to claw spec. I mean, you always have to be alert no matter where you are in the wilderness. It really is true to this day. I was doing this mainly at nighttime, so it was hard to find some scold people, but finally, Finally, we do have a Scold Cross incoming. Let's hope we can get the kill in before he gets the prayer. So we got the Vengeance in. He's still not praying. Maybe the Elder Maul can finish him just in time there. The Protect Melee going up after the hit registers tells me that even if he was protecting item, he didn't get the Protect Melee prayer on in time, so maybe there's hope? Well, there's certainly hope there. Yep, he did not protect the Web Weaver bow. That is another plus one, another smite, if you will. I mean, I don't know if you'd even call this a smite, considering he just forgot to uh, protect item. But yeah, Nigel, my man, I'm sorry for your Web Weaver loss. Now you know, though. You want to know what's worse than losing a Web Weaver bow? Lose Losing full graceful. I don't know what this guy was thinking. It actually hurt my heart later on to return here and see that he was hunting naked. 11 GP for full graceful. What a scam. Halfway into today's video, it's going pretty good so far. Two plus ones. We're surprising all sorts of people, unintentionally smiting some people, and we're still making our rounds at the Black Chin Champas. What can I say? I remember when I grinded 99 Hunter here on two accounts, I would always keep like 500 chins in the bank, but so many of these guys just keep 50, 100. They want the golden chin, but I want the golden goose. All right, imagine you're doing a hard clue and all of a sudden Mr. No Sleep appears in max strength, ready to kill you. You have no idea what's going on. 
and you don't even have a clue box. You lost the clue. Probably going to lose a little sleep as well over that. I mean, that's really tragic. I couldn't imagine being in that guy's position, but I figured I would just show you guys because it's probably entertaining for the video, but uh, needless to say, I hope that guy's doing all right. Yeah, I'm not understanding the fashion scape purpose of this guy. He was wearing no armor, but a skill cape and D boots. I mean, if you're going to be hunting black chins, you got to be decked out. You got to have that, you know, Missouri. This guy here had crystal, but it wasn't really the greatest defensive bonus. A little anti-PKer as well. Well, huh? 540k. I will happily take that. You never know what these chin hunters might have, but at the same time, you don't want to, you know, be here too much. They, these guys actually often call uh, their max PK or friends, and quickly out of nowhere, a max tank, max mage can come in and tele block you. So you have to really just make the rounds here, five minutes here, five minutes there, uh, travel just a couple worlds, and don't stay here too long. I personally had a lot more fun uh, rushing people at the Revenant Caves, but it's just a lot harder to find people there, and since this was a 10 hour video, I wanted to get a little extra profit from these chin hunters, which leads me to my next place of interest, the Wilderness Resource Area. I brought out my Iron Man to cover the 2k worlds, and then after that, I would check out the 2200s. What a cool death animation that was, but nevertheless, we took 188 crabs from him. 200k loot, not the worst, not the best. Taking a little bit of a detour from the crabs, we are back at the Southern Rev Cave entrance, the best entrance, although I will say I didn't invest a whole lot of time in the uh, North entrance, just because there's so many many bots there. 623k from our fellow Revenant killer, and following that, another guy who just seems to be completely AFK, which is what you want to hope for when you're doing this method. You know, someone just clicking on the cave and then grabbing their pizza or something. The person might even have back-to-back -back sneezes, IRL. You never know what they're going through, but you want to make sure you get in that claw spec as quickly as possible. It is a little difficult when they are running to click the Elder Mall and click on them instantly without losing a tick, but it does work most of the time. 277k from him, and now we're back at Chin's, uh, rushing another fellow Steven out there. You know, I'm hoping that since he shares my same name, he shares my same wisdom of keeping more than 100 Chin's, and he does! 300! Those are, those are my kind of numbers right there before we go out and bank. Incoming, we have a major. Look at that. I mean, that's perfect timing. I was a little slow there, alright? A little slow, and he has a cat, so it kind of got me off guard. And he's praying magic the whole time. Like I said, Void Waker's not the way to go. Sadly, he got away. But this guy, he was, uh, running towards me, and I figure, well, he's coming towards me. I might as well take Take him out as I get to the crabs. I think he was coming from the crabs, and uh, this guy in purple, he had no idea what was going on. So we gathered two keys, and now we have two hours remaining in our 10-hour grind for today. Let's open up these chests real quick. 184 crabs from the first one, none from the second one, but I'll take it. Uh, this video did teach me quite a few things about the wilderness, but one of them, just a minor detail, probably not a great place to PK would be dark crabs. I don't think these guys uh, ever stack up more than a couple hundred of these crabs. And hey, some Someone's got to fish these, so, uh, well, you know, why bother him, you know? Hey, looks like we found one of those guys who, uh, acquires rare usernames. He's got darts and helm. Who the heck would ever want to buy the username Helm? Anyway, he's taken care of. He was uh, killing chins for his alt. I'll certainly take that 4.4k uh, ether. Wow, it's a lot of ether for just an account killing chinchampas. But that leads us to one hour remaining, ladies and gentlemen. Back to the spot that we all know and love the most, the Southern Rev Cave entrance. I could make a movie here. Beautiful spec followed by a somewhat beautiful key. They weren't scold, but they always have ether to charge that bow. So we'll take it. 550. 15k. And what would this video be without a few close calls? This guy risk an absolute bank. I think we could have had him on the specs had we just hit higher, but he didn't seem to be uh, panicking at all. He's probably used to getting attacked all day, but yeah, we didn't get the kill there. That is unfortunate. Another quick piece of advice for anyone out there just with the hunting thing involved. Don't hunt 150 black chins and you have no food and no armor on. What? I mean, what is the point of that? You know, you're like asking to give away those chins. I'm just looking out for you guys here. But yeah, here we go with a guy who was going to kill Spindle. I couldn't really run into too many of these guys. I, I think he was a bot, honestly. Snakeskin boots and that setup, but uh, 489k from him. And if you guys have any suggestions on other places to try this method out in the wilderness or in other locations like PvP, feel free to leave it in the comment section below. I would love to make a part two. This was actually a lot of fun. So yeah, 708k from that guy. That was a really good loot. Little bit of an anti-PKer there. We got another one of those guys focusing on the Revenant Imps coming in. I think these guys are the most, uh, not 
not clueless, that's not a nice word, but just oblivious, I would say. You know, they're just trying to get those quick imp kills. And I'm just trying to get that quick claw spec. 630k from the big man. A little bit of a welfare kill here. But keep in mind, if you want to do this method, guys, you just need to have alternate accounts that have membership and that can scout the Furox. And that's about it. Other than that, try to log in quickly and things might work out for you. Other times, destiny or fate, rather, is just not going to be in your favor and you're not going to get the kill. But that, that happens. Can't get them all. What would RuneScape be if you got every kill? It wouldn't mean as much. There you go. The last kill of the video. It's actually nice to kill a PKer. I, I almost never ran into someone with like Arams or Mystic. Those guys are just too smart, I guess. They don't they don't come this way anymore. But I'll leave it to my Black Mystic friend there to help me wrap up this video. 10 hours has been completed with 3 minutes to spare. Overall loot from that guy, not too bad. Just shy of uh, under 2 mil there. So I will happily take that. And what a fun 10 hour experience that was. I'm really glad I was finally able to make this into a video. Looking at the overall loot, we have the AGS uh, as well as the Webweaver bow and just the overall loot chest. We did kill 59 people in 10 hours. Overall loot comes out to be 46.4 mil. Two smites, two plus ones PK'd, however you want to label that. Uh, 46 mil made in 10 hours. Definitely could have been more and it definitely could have been less. As Rick from Pawn Star says, you never know what's going to come through that door and for this video, ladies and gentlemen, you never know what is going to come through that cave. Thank you for your time today. A huge thank you to the YouTube channel members with a special shout out to Angel's Blood, Deception Z, X Exotic X, and, ne and Necro Fear. Until next time, ladies and gentlemen, stay safe in those Revenant Caves. Mr. No Sleep, out.